I just spent like 10 minutes trying to figure out why my camera wasn't turning on. And then I was like, dude, you're charging your camera. And so the battery wasn't in it. <coughs> I was trying to talk. I was going to try to talk and then I coughed. <coughs> okay. What's up, you guys? My name is Blake. I know that it is Lucas's day, but he has something he's got to do. And I didn't upload on Tuesday, so here I am today on Sunday. This week's topic is sex and relationships, and if y'all don't mind, I would rather not talk about the sex part because it's just not something I like to talk about. So I'm going to focus on the relationship part of the topic. I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but if you can hear the guy across the street mowing, I'm sorry. If you can hear the dogs in the background barking, I'm sorry. The guy across the street has been mowing all freaking day, and I've been waiting. I've been waiting to record, but it just finally was like, ugh, he's not going to stop. And he has like the smallest yard ever. I'm okay. Anyway, this video is going to pee kind of like pee. It's going to pee all over the place. No, this video is going to be all over the place because I have a few things I want to talk about. Um... The first thing I want to talk about is um, my my main dysphoria in how it would play out in a relationship. Um, my main dysphoria is height dysphoria. I right now I'm standing at five two, um, but it's kind of because I'm like hunched over at the same time because like my binder hurts my rib and my back, and so I, I'm hunched over. But I have like this this thing that you lay on, and it it hold on. Hey. What is that back stretcher thing called? The elliptical? I no. got the elliptical, the inversion table. Thank you. It's called like an inversion table or something, and it really helps. Like after I do that, I actually stand at like 5'4. So that's pretty cool how that works, but um, that's still pretty short, so that's my main dysphoria. The reason my height bothers me so much is because everybody and they they put so much into your height like oh girls don't want to date a guy that's shorter than them and guys want to date a girl that's shorter than them and it's just like apparently your height is what's in your heart these days i don't know the main reason i talked about my height dysphoria is because i have a few people on tumblr that have asked me hey what is your um, main dysphoria and so i thought i'd just throw that into this video because it kind of really applies to relationships if you think about it so the main thing i wanted to talk about today was um when to come out to somebody if you pass as male that's this that's what i'm talking about um if you pass as male the girls or the and the guys are gonna think that you're cisgender but obviously if you really like the person then eventually you're gonna have to come out to them there's so many different ways that people like to come out and so many different times that they like to come out um to their partner or the person that they like some people just go right into it like hey i'm transgender if you don't like that then just go on your merry way and that's cool if you think about it um the problem with our society is that they're not really educated on what being transgender is they just think oh they have different genitals than what I like, so I'm going to run away. And so my friend and I were talking that you, okay, if you're in a relation, if you like somebody, then you want to continue talking to them before coming out. Like that way you, you feel comfortable coming out to them as well as they like you. And so when they like you, they're going to be a little bit more accepting when you come out to them, if that makes any sense. You want to come out to a person before feelings get too strong. That way, if they don't accept you, if they don't like you being trans, then you're not feeling too strong about it, if you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, my advice would be to establish, establish a friendship and come out af after you establish the friendship and a little bit of feelings, but like come out before the feelings are too strong. I'm sorry if that's not making sense. I'm really bad at explaining things, but I hope you guys understand, and I'm sorry, but I have to get going. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week. Stay tuned for next week because we have the topic of names. So we're going to talk about names, um, how to choose a name, how we chose our name, and the importance, and blah, blah, blah. So stay tuned, and next week will be my last video, so I'll see you guys in two days, on Tuesday. Um, it'll be my last video for a few weeks. Something's flying in my face. It'll be my last video for a few weeks because I'm going to go get top surgery. So I'll see you guys in two days. Bye. Oh, wait, wait. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.